love Yokozuna. Uh, it's because of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, the head shrinkers. Right. They carried the family on their back. He's just the head of the table. They carried the fucking table. They are the tables. Like, it's literally that. I get that. I get that. But but the end of the day, at the end of the day, The Rock, The Rock wants you to acknowledge Roman. Rikishi wants you to acknowledge Roman. If not for Roman... Oh, oh, Rikishi definitely said that. Rikishi has tripled down on these things over the years, all right? All right, I promise you that. Now, maybe maybe Ming hasn't. Rikishi did it for the rock, that's why. Listen, Rikishi did it because this is the family business, all right? And Roman's the head of the family business now. I know it. You... No, no, no. So Rikishi did it for the money because, remember, Rikishi was sitting right behind, right in front of a country unit poster while sitting there trying to put over Roman when he was putting over the wrong one. No, he was putting over the right one in person and the one that he need to put over on the internet on the internet. He Rikishi know what he doing, man. He puts over the whole family to be honest, honest. All right, I'm going to be real about that. Rikishi, I don't feel like he's playing favorites with none of these niggas. I mean, he know he know his boys is the best. What is it? He can't play favorites, all right? Because his real favorites is Scotty Too Hotty and Grand Master Jack. <laughs> you take that back, Nacho. Wait, wait, wait. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was about to say Grand Master Flash. <laughs> and the Furious Pop. I'm to die. Oh, God. Oh God! Oh God! Brian Christopher. Oh man, his name was Brian Lawler. Let's tell the truth about it. All right, we know his daddy loved puppies. Yep. Yep. Grandmaster Six A. <laughs> with the do rag with the braids on it. Let's talk about it. Okay, so you want to talk about my do rag? And Moose's Moose's do rag with his tassel. <laughs> Brian Christopher had a do rag. This is clearly racism. No, no, no. Remember, Moose has a cat. Fucking tassels. What is Shinsuke doing? braids. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He said prosthetic braids. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh man. Oh my god. And you know, I'm happy that you brought that up because I for one have always been offended by seeing white people with fake roster dreads and a roster hat stick stick. Like, Look, man. I think I, me personally, I don't like um, in, like like you you talking around something in wrestling. White guys get to be black guys all the time, but black guys don't even get to be as black as white guys get to be. Let's talk about it, right? You ain't never our truth like the only rap, only hip hop rap guy that got to be hip. But this, well, hold on, you remember Rocco? Because Crime Time came about 15, 20 years after. What was that group? Uh, public. Enemy or some shit like that. They was named after a rap group of black guys, but these was like two chubby white dudes with FUBU jerseys on. Know what I'm saying? With fitted caps and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't let no black dudes do that yet. I'm just gonna say it. All right? I'm just gonna say it. I feel like all of them want to be New Jack though, so it was like. Now, that's possible, but New Jack ain't get pushed nowhere. I seen these dudes, Rocco and whoever else. I seen, I even seen the Samoans be black guys before the black guys got to be black guys. Let's tell the truth. When I seen I'm talking about why I seen Fatu with his hip hop gimmick and his cross colors and I seen Conan be get to be a thug. Conan was a thug, but we, we they didn't let Booker T be no thug. You know what I'm talking about? They ain't let goddamn uh, uh Ahmed Johnson be no thug. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I, I wanna I just 
I don't I don't know. I just want to say this. Like, I didn't need Ahmed Johnson to actually put on a do-rag, nor, like... I'm not part of his ring gear. That was weird. That was just weird, man. That was niggerish. Listen, I saw... It didn't even go with the ring gear. I saw him wearing that leather fez and already know, nigga, I don't want to meet your daughter. I don't want to... I don't want to know what she looked like. I'm good. I'm... You... Nah, I'm good. So, I don't know what you mean. Like, I made Johnson to me scream nigga all day, every day, no matter if he was wearing his ring gear. All I'm saying is that Too Cool was blacker than any tag team that was out there. They had two white guys and a Samoan chubby dude dancing to the only hip-hop theme song in the WWE. All right, now, where... I I blame Too Cool for Justin Bieber. I'll definitely do that. I blame John Cena. No, you can't. You can't. I blame Vanilla Ice for John Cena. I blame Vanilla Ice for John Cena. You see, Club. You see. You see. Too cool with the only rap. Since when was that rap? Uh, their theme song. John Cena should have been your number one fucking. John Cena is my. He he came he come listen, t- Brian Christopher and Scotty too high. Scotty had to worm so John Cena could shuffle. Let's talk about it. Right. Scotty had if Scotty would have never did the worm, John Cena would have never been able to do his five knuckle shuffle. Yes, and you why you why did Scotty do the worm? You know so he could get buried. But he never got pushed. Did he? No. I personally feel like like you just sound like you're like a John Cena fan who never got the John Cena album that you wanted. No, John Cena counted. John Cena dropped the album. You the one who put me on it, man. You told me he was dissing Undertaker. I listened to it. He was dissing Undertaker. He said, Dead man ain't your stink. I was like, I didn't even know. Dead man ain't your stink. Alright. Alright, John. Alright, John. Okay, John. Somebody stop him. How Undertaker gonna come back from this? Choke slam. <laughs> ain't got no bars. Man, I'm not I'm done. I'm done with John Cena, man. I'm done with John Cena, man. This is basic whitewashing. I ain't like, seen a black dude rap. I done seen Kurt Angle rap. I done seen Big Show rap. I only ain't seen a black dude rap in WWE. So I don't want to hear nothing. Like you don't even know. It's funny how King's name is going to be a Again, again. off no balcony. Again, wh- why are all of these white guys rapping? How come they never left Farouk spit no bars? Damn. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And when they did let Farouk talk, he would always talk about the injustice the white man is inflicted upon the black man. Listen, listen, listen. Wait a minute, though. When he was in the APA, Don Cena crawled so the Usos and New Day could motherfucking run. I don't want to hear nothing. Yes, John Cena is the greatest black um, African-American champion of the 2000s. That's true. (laughs) CTC. The blackest thing you got on UP. Alright, and you just need to accept that because if it wasn't for that, you wouldn't have motherfucking the New Day and the fucking Usos having rap battles. Alright? That was the Cottage Page. Nothing to do with John Cena. You want to get all X rated. If, if, if that didn't happen, that rap battle didn't wasn't happening, because Vince would have been still, they still would have been like, rap music, this shit has never worked here. But because John Cena did it, thank you, John, may we all rest that you made sure that hip-hop was available for us in the WWE, because you know the way that I know that it would be only country music, and we'd be only dealing with Jeff Jarrett and fucking corn for the rest of our guys. And Elias, who wants to walk with Elias. 
They're both wrong, because I'm pretty sure The Rock had a rap album before John Cena. Man, The Rock was over there doing country music. Let's talk about it. He had a little guitar. Let's talk about it. He had a little guitar. He did rock concerts. No, 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 no. Dwayne The Rock. Dwayne, whenever it was the, the Rock's musical appreciation night, that nigga came out there with a goddamn banjo, all right? He yep. Jeff Jarrett. Yep, you, he did. You, it was a rock John concert. St. John Cena, you're welcome. You can't see us. <laughs> I told you all oh, we should have moved to Boston when we had the chance. I told you. I told you, Tom Brady. Tell me you need to go to Tampa Bay now. Tom, come back, Tom. Come back. I told you. Don't fucking sit here. If it wasn't for John, you wouldn't have no rap. <laughs> he watched it too. He watched that shit. They did. <laughs> that shit was. I'll be there when you when I get there, Rodolfo. Like what? <laughs> Who's this connect? Who's this connect? Who's he talking to? I don't work for nobody. <laughs> that shit on right now, probably. Yeah, that's what's up. It is. It's, it's definitely about to be on. Right now. That's what's but up. Like I said, all right. John Cena is the reason that there is hip hop in the WWF. Because, like I said, there was nobody else allowed to do it. So. That's true. Wait, 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 wait. I need four minutes and 20 seconds ago. Damn. Damn. in the hate club because we, we were supposed to be waiting on you and John cut you in the line. Right? That's true. That's true. But C does come before H and F, all right? So I, John Cena didn't have to cut me. He just showed up on time. You know I was late, all right? It was a couple letters that came before me. John C. Riley. Alright, two people who lose this match and putting in a rivalry. I'm saying it right now. The one I'm gonna recommend for a title shot. I don't know what belt. Who cares? We'll figure it out. See now, all right, what they did not see before. See none enough. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. That was the most clever they one I thought, see. man. They, they all see now, did not see before. I failed to see enough. Yep. This is a, a terrible, terrible thing. Who let John Cena out? Vince. I knew it was a problem when I heard that some dude came and smacked Kurt Angle. I knew it was a problem. I knew something. Because before that, before that, it was like Brock and like a bunch of big dudes Paul Heyman was going to come out with. And I'm like, eh, nah, I don't think that dude's going to. He looked good, but he, I don't think he's going to stand. It's like, I didn't think Brock had much, but Brock was clearly better than all them Nathan Jones, Matt Morgan niggas that, that Paul Heyman was bringing around. He was just bringing around anybody. You tall? All right, I'll get you to take on Brock. Like, all right, bro. All right. He knew what he was doing. You had to, you had to fill the um. Yeah, and he had to feed him because they already was putting him over Hogan and and Angle. But then by the time I heard that some dude came and slapped slapped Kurt Angle, and then they told me he was rapping, and I watched it and I was like, what? Wait, get him, Stone Cold, get him, bust him. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I said, man. That's not what I'm, I'm talking about this match, my bad. But uh, and when I seen that happen, man, I was like, oh, man. Hold it. Hold on, man. Who they letting? Oh, man. Because I know what it means when they let you slap Kurt Angle. I know what that means. Damn, Woods won the match. I'm recommending him for a title shot. The other two men going to have to fight it out. That's crazy, though, man. This was another great moment. I sign up for this bet, man. I sign up for this good. Low light for another. Every single minute of this one was memorable. Going back to chat. Something. Something on my back. GG's.
And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. Uh, That's the type of action we're going to get all night long. I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. I wonder who the game trying to fuck this rivalry with. I wish this game was complicated. See, that would be something that that would be impressive since it's too late for them to make no changes and shit. If that 2K22 got a triple threat rivalry, yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Even if they don't yeah, fix the tables. You buy the patch to get the cards to upgrade them to be able to put them in a rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. It's the whole point of my faction. I'm hoping that's outside of the everything to do with that's outside of the universe. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, the basketball one, you know, the basketball one like my team. And then you get the little cards to make up your team. The best ratings and you have to try and hopefully get a better card. Mm. And you combine the cards to make the cards better. Right. Yeah, that's what my faction is in looking the 2K22 because, you know, let's add VC and let's make them pay for it so we can screw them out more money for a broken ass fucking game that we never fucking fixed and just conned everybody into believing that it's a new engine. No, you rebuilt the old engine, which means you still have the same fucking capabilities. Sounds Limited. Like a 2K move to... uh, it is the idea. same engine as 2K12 natural. You know, it's a 10 year old engine because, you know, a new engine would cost them more money to fucking get. One seven four seven one nine. Let's go. What? God damn it! All right, I gotta link it to my debit card. Damn. I'm gonna get this work. Matter of fact, PayPal. Fuck you. All right. Um, amount to deposit. Minimum deposit required thirty. I want to bet more than that. Um, I pull a band up, right? Fuck that. Put a thousand dollars to goddamn Bengals win this. In the signs. They will win that. When have I ever been wrong? <laughs> In Mexico, um, Kingslayer. In Mexico. Every time you didn't go right, guys. Every time you didn't go right. I don't know. Hey, I mean, I, I may not always be right, Nacho, but I'm never wrong. Listen, I'm trusting the signs, me working with the most. This car can't be used as this type of transaction. You need to burn a bank account or your PayPal balance. Suck my dick. Hey, you w. No, I don't want Tony Khan on my nuts. <laughs> God damn it, change payment now. Alright, instant deposit, add debit card, name on card. It's Isn't money. that a root beer company? Tony Khan? No, it's A and W. A and W. A and W. Wait, you at the Mediterranean hookah spot? What y'all rapping? I said you should be live then. What you talking about me for? You should be live. Yep. With four bottles of Andre. Yep. They about to get the champion in action. Oh, oh. That's all you got on this know. show, ain't it? Are we eating and smoking hookah? Okay. Okay. Don't tell Coke Quinn that Fronto. That better be a festival. I'm gonna be honest, all right. I'm wait before you even finish. I know what you're gonna say. You too wish that the theme song from BMF was the theme song for everything. That's not. It's a get rich town. I understand. But well, actually, he, he doesn't watch BMF. I don't. I don't watch that show. I don't know. <laughs> I don't listen. If it don't got nothing to do with Ghost and Tommy, yeah, well, like, I don't need to see it. Either because he just doesn't get it. <laughs> it's old. 
<laughs> nah, let me stop, man. You know what? I, 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 I it's not. Know. I'm gonna tell you this. It's not as good. It's definitely not as good as I feel like power was. All of that, but it's definitely more like worthwhile. the patio. Oh, y'all doing it right, man. Y'all doing it right. Tell Smokey I said I I've seen them all out there working. That's what I told them. If he knows the history, it's worth watching because you know it's a little bit elaborated, but you don't know if that actually happened. Oh. Odell oh, Beckham Jr. I mean, I could just... If Odell Beckham Jr. scores the first thing, that's plus a thousand dollars. Nah, man. I'm just we got a roof above our head, so it's legal in Simville. I got you. Got you. The wager, thousand dollars. Pay me twenty six hundred if it wins. I'm about to slide this card through. There are insufficient oh, funds in your account. I'm what? On entrance, these shits. Is it legal fraud too? Is there more than one? Wait, what? What does that mean? Oh, <laughs> That's why do you? Oh, wait, my wage is there. Yeah. Straight bet, open bets. Oh yeah, open bet, straight. All right. Tom Brady coming back to football. Yes. One million dollars. Men's Winter Olympics. Latvia versus Slovakia. These niggas don't care about Russia. These niggas don't care about Slovakia. These niggas don't care about Prussia. I'm putting money, I'm putting the same $25. Not to us, the bet that it would be cold. What? These niggas don't care about Latvia. I'm putting $25 on Latvia. Yep. Yep. It's going to come back big. It's going to come back big, Nacho. Just trust me on this one. <laughs> Latvia, nigga. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Hold on. What else? Little Wayne. Wheezy. Robert, damn, wait, I could bet on this fight tonight. Who, who gonna win this fight tonight? Is Israel De La Santa, hey, 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 Santa, if Israel De La Santa, Santa, that's the one. If he fighting, put your money on him, man. Yep. Yeah, but that's like minus 650. That's only gonna get me, what? Like $20. I should say I put 500 on this. It's gonna get me 500 and that's a bet. Okay, word, it went through. Okay, so if Adesanya wins, I get, uh... This shit is some dumbass WWE booking and shit. Why would they make two rivals fight the tag team champions? Like... I'll get 90 bucks. If I win, oh my god, then I'm going to be a drug addict again. Addiction. Addiction. Yes. I'm about to wander through the crowd. Alright, my bet is in. Tag Team Champs ain't fucking around no man. I got 18 dress matches this week. Go touch me with 18 dollars. Oh shit, Luke just decked Jake, 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 Jake the Snake. And there was some talks of Jake joining the uh, Fade to Black Faction. I'm back. I'm gonna be paying attention. King Slayer's brother's okay. What the hell is he swinging at? King Slayer, why your whole family out here being notorious? In Chicago, all right. 
This is what happens. This is what happens. This is why this guy is not on. He's not on. Um, oh man, who had this uh, grand grandpa Slayer at? What the fuck is that old man? <laughs> <laughs> Is it the circus? It was the circus. Alright, but this is what happens. When they close that, that wrestling promotion down, he went back to Chicago. <laughs> he got the Flynn family in. Y'all ain't right, man. Y'all are not right. Damn, this motherfucker got a bat on Jake. Man, he trying to end Jake's career. They didn't even try with this opening either. I feel like with the opening, they could have made it a little bit. Or either hood or glamorous, cause you know, ghost thing was only about sex. And literally, his interest had like women, chairs, you know, diamonds, and all type of extra shit. Like this shit's just a car. Yeah, but that's like all that that Tommy's like, you know. They could have put guns in the hubcaps. Yeah, they should have put some 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 dope. <laughs> Some white like women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cause I ain't gonna lie, man. I think we all know that 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 these spinoffs is like Tariq's young power, Lorenz Tate's political power, Kanan's retro power. <laughs> so we all know that Tommy's just white power, all right? We all know it, all right? It's cool, man. It's cool. They said this shit broke Star's record. That shit did not surprise me that it broke Star's record. This is fucking Power Rangers. It's more of a time. I'm Kanan. <laughs> it's, it's 50. All right, but I'm here for that, though, man. It's like, it's like, uh... You know, if they start involving the Irish Mafia and all that other shit, man, which is already what it seemed like they doing, the Scottish Mafia, I, I, I didn't even know they had a Scottish Mafia in Chicago, but what do I know about what's going on in Chicago? Niggas using the Magnum. Why would they club so they can have Irish Americans? Who the hell is in black we all know that the Irish were here, all right. I never knew about a Scottish migration to the Ameri to the United States. You know, it's real. Listen, you know besides you, you besides you, Nacho, all right. Crazy about this. You know what's real crazy about this? You know, there's a part here where Tommy pulls up on his grandmother, and he's like, "I'm her son." Yeah, who are you? Ain't nobody came to see her in 66 days. How you know? Because I'm a son. I'm a son. I'm a grandson. I'm a grandson, too. I just want you to know King Slayer, they owe us money. This is, this, is, this is clearly my Scottish heritage. They are it over right now. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. I, I had a yep. little picture. You got it on your arm. I get it. Yep. And the whole son-nephew thing. Yep. Uh, that's not the important part, King Slayer. All right, black people. Black people and white people aren't brothers in America, King Slayer. Obviously, that you are the blackest gold guy. <laughs> He's not in New Scotland, all right? All right? He's in old Scotland. We everybody knows King Slayer's the only real nigger in Scotland, all right? Two Belt said it, not me. Don't get mad at me. Two Belt said it. More politically correct, all right? So I'm going to say the blackish, goldish, ish guy. Race ish. Old. Un. Unraceable. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I do a blank and then say I'm not all gold. 
Hmm. No, we know that. That's why I said the black. When I say black, see, this is this is what you gotta understand, King Slip. When I say black, I'm actually speaking about either the absence of color or the combination of all colors into one on the physical realm. I I'm not speaking of a cultural designation supplied by me by my oppressors. All right, when club may say blackish or nigger, you know th- th- that might fall into. That. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Club never said nigger. Two bells said nigger. All right, don't get mad at me. Two bells. <laughs> said it. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't identify as being black. I don't know. One of those guys we used to hang out with. The club is more, is black. Alright. I'm sure that I am. Right. That's true. Yo. That's true. And that, that also means that you can't say you're not all gold. Everybody knows everything in Trinidad is all gold. Gold all yeah, on their neck. <laughs> gold all on their chest. Say you stole it from us. We Can't that. believe him, just watch. <laughs> Don't believe me, just watch. All gold, everything. Yep. Yep. The Trinidadians are proud golden that's people. What, that's what little that's what Kid Slade Jr. be running around listening to when he's trying to go to the hood. <laughs> Yep. Like this dude. <laughs> <laughs> we already saw, we figured that out two years ago, Nacho. <laughs> he riding around the gold ass six four, <laughs> playing Trinidad James. Gold all on my neck. Gold all on my watch. Don't believe me? Just watch me. Yep, it's been what four years, and the the jokes haven't changed. The jokes don't need to change. The hits keep coming, King Slayer. <laughs> we got new viewers, all right? This is, don't you understand the WWE? God damn it, we do the same show, 50 states. All right? It's a different state, different night. Same show every night. After we do the 50th show, we'll get a new joke. That's two jokes, King Slayer. Two jokes. By the time we get around to Wichita again, they ain't gonna know what we hit them. They love the old hits. They're gonna think it was just as good as the pay per view, but this is the same shit. I just can't get enough of it. They finally finished the match, y'all, on pay per view. So here's a question for you, Club. What came first? One night in Paris, one night in Australia, or one night in Milwaukee? One night in Milwaukee happened first. One night in Milwaukee happened first. Um, that was like 20, 2019, actually, the year. I remember we did the pay-per-view. Casey fought Jinder Mahal in the main event. Um, at our one night in Milwaukee. And then shortly after, um, me and Chloe... Um, we're accused of engaging in an illicit affair. Um, we almost got married in Australia. Uh, we almost got married in Paris. But we weren't. I wasn't you invited see, to the baby shower. So, bro, hmm? bro, so you see all the drip, right? That be on. Um, that be on uh, ghost stories, right? Yeah. All the drip. Yeah. Right. See all that drip, right? Yeah. I'm now about to see how much of that drip is about to be regurgitated in Chicago amongst these, these characters. I, I, I honestly think that, uh, see, that this, is, this is the thing aesthetically that I think that they about to get off, um, and, and I don't know. But this is what I think they about to get off. Tommy's always kind of been a blue collar guy. Like, so I don't expect to see too much gaudy shit. That was really Ghost. Ghost will always want, like, even though I, I'm going to assume, like, let's assume that Ghost and Tommy pulled the same money from the business. Even though, and, and even though they both washed their money in the same businesses, but let's assume that Ghost made more money outside of rap, okay? Outside of wrestling than Tommy did, all right? So, so I could, I could kind of see. Because, you know, Tommy didn't make sure he lived in no penthouse like Ghost did. You know what I'm saying? He didn't make sure none of that shit. He had a loft. And so, so, so. T- Hardly ever did. And he and, didn't have a house until. And yeah, and he, and he didn't care. He don't care. He, you know, he wanted to take care of his mom. You know, it was like a very few things. He didn't even like his mom, but he wanted to make sure she was taken care of. So I think that they, I think that they're going to get off a few things. Yeah, pristine though. You know what I mean? It wasn't no second car. It wasn't no motorcycle. Yeah, 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 and that's. 
that's the car up and everything. He made sure the fucking ghost fixed that car. <laughs> yeah, about. yeah and, and, and I think that those things is what's going to make this show like like those parts about Tommy. I think appeal to a, to a whole different audience. But it's the same shit, though. You know what I'm saying? What? What are parts of Tommy? The, 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 he's the, he's the, like, Ghost was the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because to me, Tommy, it didn't do it. Tommy was like the only comedic Tommy on Powers. Tommy was the only comedy on Powers. So essentially, this show it is just power, technically, without Ghost. Because... Even if, like, Tariq may have used, like, all the ghost fucking storylines and all that other bullshit. But essentially, this is all the same thing. Tommy trying to get money, and there's other families running shit. He ain't the fucking head guy. He's just a wild king. That's why he's the, the cowboy in the town. Mm -hmm. This is all like a continuation from stories fucking laying on power anyway, because then remember he's fucking half Italian and he's all Italian art that just... Excuse me. Yeah, but is he fighting an Italian? That's what I'm saying. He fighting the Scottish Mafia. Because Chips is the head. And it's a family. So even though his kid just looks like a putz and his daughter's Amish. The Scottish guy leads it, but all those people that he was beating up, they weren't Scottish. Yeah, this is why it's funny. This is why it's funny because I, I this, this is why I mentioned that because when you say the Scottish Mafia, it's like, eh, I could believe that the family is Scottish, but like, I don't think there's that many people who know that they descended from Scotland and Chicago to be like, listen, y'all, we gotta all stick together. What this is is what this is is this is essentially the white mafia, but we're not Serbian nor yes. Or Armenian, because Armenians oh, aren't in Chicago. They're in California. We all know that. We watch The Shield. They're obviously not Spanish, because the Rodolfo's out. Yeah, they're in California. Yeah, we watch Mayans. They're in California. Yo, and Tommy got his dick blown off on Old Park. I just want you to know, so this is like real wild for me to see him back as Tommy again. Wait, you say he's in Ozark? He gets his dick blown off in Ozark because he's the son of the KC mobs. Uh, he's the son of the KC, the head of the KC mobs. And what did he tell Billy? I thought Ozark was like a comedy. Nah, it, it's it's dark comedy at best. If you're like, sit, if you can sit there and like watch a crazy ass story and get, and laugh at the shit, like Jason Bateman is himself, so he's essentially the comedy. But when has he actually ever been comedic? In a sense of like It's not just sarcasm it's Yeah sarcasm. yeah yeah That's what it is He needs a situation so like, To he's Complain in about that situation But the fucking situation Is not no comedy The situation is completely like I need to save my family Cause My cartel my, The cartel Literally All of my fucking Brothers In the fucking 4X shit Down And it's just me And I gotta They gonna take me out If I don't make them no money Oh, this is like some cartel getting mixed up with the cryptocurrency, trying to trying to clean the money or some shit type yeah, of situation. It's, it's, it's money laundering, essentially. Okay, it's, okay, it's, so he he a white collar criminal and he in over in his head he and shit. Nah, he wasn't criminal in the shit in the beginning. He was just a white collar guy who his partners were criminal. And because they were criminal, all of their, like, actual gains were just off of criminal shit. He was actually making the company money legally. So when the cartel came and wiped everybody who was skimming off, his argument was, A, I wasn't robbing y'all, and B, I can make y'all some money. And he get wrapped up in their bullshit, but he still <coughs> Execute this plan, and that's where everything goes to fucking. He got to become the man of the town. His wife wants to go straight from being fucking Sansa to Cersei by seas from season one to season four.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, yo. So is that? Or you don't ask me. Yo, Tommy's is fucking dick. Hold on, yo. Tommy's is fucking prick, dog. How did I shoot this thing already? How did I shoot this thing already? Watch out! Oh. This is a treacherous match indeed. It's She's almost out of it. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it. But that was impressive. <laughs> yeah, they introduced a lot of characters that the last episode. Versus that one. Oh man, she's rolling now. Look at her go. Oh. Oh shit. Huh? Huh? Power struggle already. That's it's what like that shit should have been called. Power this struggle. Like, this is like club and loot. Loot oh, just got out of jail. Club to do ready to shit. <laughs> he trying to figure out why KC and Blank ain't listening. <laughs> we don't even listen to club. We, we, we fucks with you. We, we need denied from club. <laughs> oh man. She is on fire. Oh, this is dangerous right here. This is not where she wants to be. I can tell you this is not a Get the shoulders down. You're not going to win many matches that easily. Not even close. Tommy's obviously going to win. It shows about him. Like, I, this is where there's no, like, <laughs> no real suspense here. Harsh impact. <laughs> He's not gonna get killed, and we know it. <laughs> like there's no drama here. Everybody could die but him. Um, obviously, the other guy's not gonna die because we got introduced to him. We spent the whole first episode leveling him up. So at this point, it's like this whole them holding guns on him. Is but show. Just a step quicker, it looks like. Oh, from behind. Ooh, she's starting to stand right here. Momentum clearly not in her side right now, fellas. She's not looking so good here, guys. She's going to need to find a way to fend off some of this offense and quickly. Looking to turn it around. She's still Tommy in. He got his new ghost. Yep. Got a whole new I got a ton of black friends. I make black friends all the time. I sleep with black women on different cities and states. Come, ghost, the real ghost. Everybody on this show gonna be calling themselves ghost. The whole universe. <laughs> We're gonna find out Kanan used to be ghost. <laughs> This is what he's saying. I'm just waiting for it all to be like, so who are you? The ghost. This is like, yeah. Right. There you go, these stories. It's going to be Tasha running around all fucking the next season. So with this story, it's a ghost alive. <coughs> what bug me out how scared of Tommy Tasha is, man. It really bugs me out, me. man. I'm like I know they did one episode on Power where she like lied to him the whole episode or something like that. Cause she know Tom. Listen, no, did Tommy kill what's her name? Um, um, yeah, she didn't. She she manipulated Tommy into doing it, didn't it? Isn't that what happened? No, she killed him, didn't she? Didn't she kill Lala? Yeah, she killed Lala, and then she and then Tommy killed the white bitch, right? Yeah. Yeah, Tommy yeah, killed Tommy killed his first girlfriend because fucking Tasha basically manipulated them and saying that she was going to snitch. 
Yeah, yeah, but she wasn't. She, she had seen her, seen her be fucking the cops and everything, and she probably had a wire and everything, and she probably told them everything about fucking the operations because Tommy told her about it, and then that's when Tommy started to get paranoid and go, wait, I did tell her about everything because she wanted the truth. And then he strangled her. Yeah. Yeah, but she was pregnant and he didn't know that. Yep, but Tasha did. Yeah, and that's why he was mad at Tasha her. Tasha knew that fucking the moment that Tommy found out that he was going to fucking be a dad, that, you know, he would have uh, gave everything up, and she didn't want that. Um, so that's why he hate Tasha. But, 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 but he still think Lala wasn't going to snitch, but Lala was going to snitch. She definitely was going to snitch. Yep. Yep, that's the, 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 the ironic part of it, because, you know, the other one wasn't going to snitch, because she was going to tell Tommy <laughs> that they wanted her to snitch, but she wasn't. Yep. Damn, Tommy got this nigga driving this car. Alright, so do we got the ECWGM still in the building? ECW General Manager still in the building. We definitely not booking this. All right. Trying to put it between Creed and Voorhees, huh? That's trippy. Say beautiful people before we get the hell up on out of here. Um, take care of each other, go fuck yourself. And why wouldn't they? Peace.